that he knows what he's doing. <laughs> so uh, in Wayne Township Schools, we do a lot of demonstrations, but every once in a while you want to do something that really grabs everyone's attention. So this has to do with pressure. We've talked about pressure before. <clears throat> pressure for airplanes to fly. Pressure when you play your sax. Pressure when you use your knife to cut. You ever tried cutting sideways? Nope, no. doesn't work. So pressure is force divided by the area. And so <clears throat> we have a bed of nails here. Uh, real nails. <laughs> uh, and uh, I have a bed of nails right here. Ooh, that's a rusty nail. Yes, it is. And so we have a pressure point. Down here, we have a thousand pressure points. So you probably remember this from school. Yes. If we put the same force on here, all that pressure is going to be at the very tip of this nail. That's going to be a lot of pressure. It's going to be a lot of pain. That's a lot, a lot <laughs> of pressure. And if we take that same force and spread it over a thousand nails, now we divided the pressure by a bigger area and hence less pressure. Makes That's sense. what's supposed to happen. So let's do a practice. Let's see what okay. would happen if we dropped a cantaloupe, this cantaloupe right here on that nail. And this would be a good practice. Who's, you're going to do the drop for me? I'll do the drop. That's okay. all I mean. <laughs> uh, so My pleasure. This is, your, this is your practice. Yes, okay. And so as you predict what would happen, it will probably go right through it. Probably. Yeah. Because that force of gravity, that gravitational potential energy, which is going to pull this down, all is going to be focused right there. So okay. be careful of that, Betty Nails. Got it, got it. And Jared, do you help her? She, is her aim good? Just Higher than it. that. Come on, we got to have oh, more. Oh, we got it up. Count of three. One, two, three. Oh! Nice job. Thank right you. Uh, nice job for the demonstration. Not so good for the cantaloupe. Not for the cantaloupe. Okay. We'll eat it later. Got Don't worry. Yeah. So um, you have a choice. Do you want me to be on the bed of nails? Or, uh, um, I'm thinking. Yeah. I got a lot of gigs this weekend, so I'm going to opt out of this. Okay, one. I'm going to need some help because okay, you what, I, down there. All right. what I don't want to do is sit down because I have to put all of my mass in a small area. Sure. And that'll be, that'll be bad. Be the, the kennel. So, so how we do get, I help uh, you down? Two people help me right here. Okay. And I'm going to be stiff and I'm going to go straight back. And you ready? Don't drop me. Oh, ah. No, I'm okay. Oh, boy. <laughs> and so, uh, now that would be a win right there, but. Let's make this more interesting. Let me see this thing right here. Okay, let's start adding more mass. Oh. And uh, how about those 25-pound masses? Yeah, I tried to pick those up. That wasn't going to One at a time right here. And uh, Oh, my gosh. Uh, so I'm increasing. Rick, you okay? You okay? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Let's do another 25. Uh, now, the reason I'm doing this, more mass, the momentum has changed, so the force should be absorbed. So the last thing, let's put this lock on here, and it's uh, coming heavy. The producers are sweating. <laughs> I'm and sweating. Are you sweating, Jared? Uh, did he sign a waiver? I'm I, I Waiver? Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, put your goggles on. Okay, got my goggles on. And let's grab this piece of plastic over my knees. Now, the number one thing... Amy, yes. Is to do what? Uh, go on the X. Drop it on the X. Okay. Which is down here. Which I did a good job on the cantaloupe. <laughs> but is it going to be twice that I do a good job? I'm starting to feel. Never mind. Oh, boy. Nine, here we one. go. All right. One, two, don't sue. How far up? About up to your chin. Up to the chin. But there you go. One, two, three. Oh! Oh, All right. It worked. I'm good. Are you good? Are you alive? Everything's good. I didn't feel much of that because all this mass absorbed it. One thing left. I need help up. Oh, yes. Yes. Jared, help this man we'll up. Get him. And we have to check for any type of uh, leaks. <laughs> all right. Meaning you have leaks? So, so Rick, when you One, do this... One, two, three. Go. When you do this in school, yes. what, what are the kids' reactions and, and, and <laughs> how, does, how does this... Were they similar to our reactions? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, with the, the disclaimer, don't try this at home, but it's pressure. It's science. Science is all around us. Sometimes we need to do something that really gets your attention so you can explain the rest of the world with science. Have you had any students try to, once they get older, recreate their own form of pressure experiments? Yes. I, I've, been doing, I've been teaching in Wayne Township since 1976 so a lot of my students have gone on to be teachers and that's probably the best thing about that is try something and if you see something in the world see how it applies to your daily life like your 
Levers sure. on your, your, your sack? I, 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 I choose to not do the bed and bells. I'll stick with the horn. <laughs> you'll honestly. stick with the other pressure. But you'll <laughs> yeah. feel pressure in front of everybody when you're playing. A little bit. Just okay. a little Rick, bit. Tell us about your YouTube channel. Um, Rick Croslin Science. And so there's like 300 lessons and a bunch of things from indie style mm. uh, because. I think kids like uh, to see how things apply to the world. Oh, I think so too. My son looks at all that stuff on YouTube, so it's very, nice. very important. We're building bridges with third graders this Friday at Rhodes Elementary. We're going to build four types of bridges. A swinging rope bridge, a beam bridge, and the first ever, a Leonardo da Vinci bridge. Oh my gosh. So that's Friday. I love it. <laughs> Fantastic. Well,